Okay. I, I think we cannot live without robots. So we look at it, should take a mirror and say, okay, when will robots replace us as an employees? And now I think I'll give, now I'll give floor to Roland's Indrushkevich, who has been doing research also with Circle K on how they are robotizing their processes in Circle K. Thank Thank you. you. Hello, dear audience. My name is Roland Sindrushkevich, and during my internship at Circle K, I developed my bachelor thesis, Robotic Process Automation, Risk Analysis in Circle K Business Center. So this is the table of contents, and let's start with the definition. You might think that robotic process automation is about a heavy hydraulic arm performing a manual task in a factory. However, um, RPA can be better described as implementation of a virtual workforce, which is designed to complete computer-based tasks. So about um, the RPA market, this graph represents how much um, companies are investing in RPA software and services. Uh, for example, in 2018, <laughs> it is expected that companies will invest approximately 600 million. However, if you look at the future, by 2021, it is expected that the market uh, will double its size to 1.2 billion. Let's move on with the benefits. <coughs> so first of all, the process become more lean and productive because before automation, all the processes are revised and changes are implemented if necessary. Secondly, cost reduction. The virtual workforce can work 24-7, as well as it is much faster than uh, regular employees. The virtual workforce can work uh, five times as fast as a, a regular employee. Then um, the processes are reliable and accurate because zero, zero human error is uh, made by the virtual workforce, as well as scale and capacity. You can add another employee, virtual employee, just by purchasing another license. Uh, you don't need time-consuming uh, recruitment processes. <laughs> uh, so let's move on with the research. Uh, although there are many magnificent benefits, there are also extensive risks associated with uh, automation. Therefore, I developed uh, two research questions. First of all, how successfully robotic process automation risks are mitigated in Circle K Business Center? And secondly, which are the most important risk factors in automation? To answer my research questions, I developed my research methodology, which consists of four stages. First of all, it was the risk factor identification. Then secondly, I'm using one of the most uh, popular um, risk evaluation matrix, which, which is the probability and impact matrix to determine the weight. Then I'm uh, retrieving the score for each risk factor using a factor evaluation matrix, which is based on a SWOT analysis. For uh, visualization purposes, I will use a graphical uh, representation and not include the table itself later on. And uh, to, to sum up, the risk analysis itself. The data collection method consisted of two parts. First of all, in-depth interviews with industry experts to develop my methodology. Uh, afterwards, in-depth interviews were performed with uh, the RPA team as well to gain insight uh, from their daily life. And uh, secondly, uh, end user customer survey was performed to analyze the risks from the employee perspective. So the population totally consists of 241 which uh, is from three departments in uh, Circle K, Finance and Control, Customer Contact Center, and uh, Global Fuel. I was uh, uh, an intern in Global Fuel department, and industry experts and RPA team consists of nine and three. These are the industry experts I interviewed. Uh, I also included Mikhail Bendix, which is uh, the senior manager of RPA, because uh, he was the one who taught me about RPA in the first place as well as um, two representatives from Accenture, Maxim Snowumos and Tom Sklabis. Tom Sklabis is actually 
uh, from RBS as well, a graduate. And uh, Andres Eisporiatis, manager and head of data analytics from KPMG. So let's move on with the research findings. In total, 12 risks were found out to be the most important for RPA. Um, we will focus only on the four most uh, important risks, which, uh, um, which uh, have the highest impact to the organization. So those are unstable IT environment, which is actually an external factor because uh, RPA itself uh, is not uh, related directly to IT. IT is a different department, but there are highly uh, big risks associated to the unstable IT environment because if the server breaks down, then the employees uh, perceive that the, ro the robots have failed, but that's not the case. The robots would have worked fine, the server failed. Um, so these risks are interrelated. If the IT environment fails, the value for employees also fail, as well as the corporate value fail. Uh, another important aspect is uh, an efficient operating model that should be implemented uh, to make synergies uh, for the team, as well as uh, to have clear roles. So this is the risk evaluation matrix I have made uh, based in a chart for, visualiza for visualization purposes. Um, it is very interesting that uh, the four most important risk factors have received uh, a below average or average result, which uh, indicates that uh, the company should focus on exactly these risks. Therefore, my strategy uh, can be connected to the Pareto principle. If we focus on the 20%, uh, if we focus 20% effort of the most important risks, then we will gain the 80% of results. So I would suggest that uh, RPA focuses on IT environment, as well as creating an efficient operating model. My conclusions are that uh, overall circle case performance it's quite good, 70.9%, which is uh, from the risk evaluation matrix. Uh, also, automation risks are interrelated, as I mentioned before. And I can stress the importance of that uh, we should focus on high impact risk factors, especially IT. Uh, as well as this research can be used as a roadmap, roadmap for successful RPA pilot projects. Uh, my referee asked me three, quest three questions. Uh, to recommend uh, a strategy for a specific risk factor uh, mitigation. So first of all, how to mitigate faulty process development. This risk is actually very good mitigated uh, already. Uh, however, uh, I would suggest that uh, Circle K focuses on process identification because there are cases when the process is implemented, uh, but it turns out that it is not valuable for the company because the employee uh, had different perception, and uh, it turns out that it is not applicable for automation. Um, secondly, how to increase employee trust on process automation. Uh, first of all, if we uh, solve the IT environment, then the trust will increase uh, for the employees. I will mention it in the third question, but also uh, establish a communication plan. I will tell you a story uh, while I was in uh, the global field department. Um, we also had tasks uh, that were automated and uh, we had this uh, single point of contact and uh, she actually, she had a very bad communication plan because she mentioned that, okay, we will automate these tasks, you might lose your uh, jobs, but uh, you will gain a very good uh, title in your CV if you like help to contribute. This is something we should definitely exclu exclude. Uh, lastly, um, recommend a mitigation strategy for the unstable IT environment. As I mentioned before, it is an external factor. However, I recommend to the IT department to uh, implement a plan B hosting solution. Um, they had this cloud project uh, and uh, all the employees had problems with the server. They were unable to do their task, to, to perform their duties. Um, 
So meanwhile, while the cloud server has uh, experiences downtime, there should be always a plan B. The local server should be running to maintain the process flow. Also, increase software testing efforts to ensure the quality uh, before, during a um, cloud project, for example. And uh, actually, the cloud project was implemented last year, but uh, the employees feel that they still have uh, issues. So if these um, problems are ongoing, maybe they should consider changing the supplier eventually. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Okay, thank you. Questions? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I have two questions, actually. Uh, could you please name uh, the pro particular processes that are automated at the moment mm -hmm. in Circle K? Um, in different departments, of course, there are different ones. I can uh, uh, mention, for example, Customer Contact Center. Uh, what they are doing, they're registering and updating client cards. So when they're, when, for example, you uh, purchase, not purchase, but you uh, want to create a new client card, then you apply a form, and the, the robot automatically puts it in the system and uh, delivers messages that uh, it, is, it has been successful. Okay. Uh, and the second one regarding that story about losing job, yeah? yeah. Um, well, how do you think uh, a company should motivate your employees to take part in, uh, in, this, in this job? That's a very good question. Um, the amount of work in the business center is only increasing uh, because from the business units, for example, the Latvian business unit and others from Europe, they, um, they transform the du many duties to the business center. So uh, as more tasks become automated, there is a chance to do more uh, high value added tasks. And that should be a motivation for every employee to switch from manual clicking to actually bring value. No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, one more Can I have one? Uh, I still want to dig in a little bit in okay. this because this is very important, I think, because very often the best ideas about the automation comes actually from people who do the specific uh, clicking job. Yes. And then how do you really make them uh, motivated to, to say, hey, guys, actually, this can be automated? Because, you know, everybody of them actually think, well, if that's going to be automated, where I am. Yeah, and and this is very you know uh, from the company point of view it's clear I mean it's cost of sales uh, it's saving the costs and it's efficiency and but for the specific person who is uh -huh. doing this clicking, how do you get this person to say hey guys actually to come to the management and say I have a great idea actually we can motivate you know automate this one. Yes, yes. Um, so this is basically the communication plan that should be uh, worked on in Circle K. Uh, so what are the key things what you would say to these people? So what are your benefits if you will automate your job? First of all, we need to uh, tell him about how interesting it is. I think it's actually uh, self-explanatory. I personally uh, think that this is like one of the most uh, in interesting things I could do. And if I have a chance to work on it, uh, I would be very glad uh, in the organization if, if I could spend time on automating tasks and if I have assurance, if the RPA department and my specific manager has told me, okay, let's uh, automate this, we have a special plan for you afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay.